today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's a special New Year's Eve edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Daniel Jones and the New York Giants taking on Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in playing some decent football, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they've been in a... Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First go on offense for the Giants under the guidance of Daniel Jones, the former Duke Blue Devil. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, <laughs> he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. They'll start with the option. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Throwing Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he will have a Giants first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Northwestern's Justin Jackson. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Coming up on a second and six. Now Saquon Barkley. Gets past one man, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. Going right side, he finds Slayton. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Now Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Campbell. Six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down.
Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. A first down carry for Barkley. Switch out, switch out. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second and five. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The numbers for him from a week ago. A boatload of carries, 127 yards, and a score. He's having a nice season, and he knows where he ranks in the league. Don't ever let a running back tell you that they don't know that. They do. So what he's doing now is lobbying the offensive coordinator all week long. Hey, how about a few more touches? He's one big game away from maybe leading the league. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. From the 17, Jones. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. From the gun on third down, Jones. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. 